Hey everyone, it's Eugene, and today what I'm going to be doing is speaking to you about how to scan dark, black, shiny cars with Recon 3D. And there's a few things that you can try to do to help improve the scan data that you're getting, but as many of you know, shiny black cars are really, really difficult. So let's cover the topics that um, you know we want to discuss. And there's really three things you can do, and you can break them into two categories. One is you know coatings and sprays, and the other one has to do with the scanning technique. So let's cover coatings and sprays. And I've actually covered this in another video on my uh, 3D Forensics channel, and you can go ahead and have a look at that. I'll make sure to put the link down below. Um, now, you can use all kinds of coatings or sprays, but basic, basically what you need to do is break up the surface, get rid of that shine, and help to lighten the color of the surface so you get a little bit more uh, return on the signal that's uh, going out. Now, um, you know, I've talked about like things like baby powder, uh, there's like those uh, foot sprays, there's dry shampoo, so there's these low-cost methods, um, even cornstarch uh, people have used before, just to kind of break up the surface. But... Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more professional, then uh, we have these A-sub sprays. And I'll be doing more on this as well. Um, uh, talking about, uh, you know, the development of these and I'll be doing a specific video on A-sub with Recon 3D. But uh, there are a few here and I'm just going to go over them very quickly. So the white is a... Um, non-sublimating spray. So basically when you spray it, it stays on and you have to wipe it off or wash it off, whatever the case may be. And uh, there's a reason why you might want to use this over some of the others, but the blue and the orange here, uh, let me see, let me put them up. So these two here are sublimating, which means that they disappear on their own after a while. So the blue is like at room temperature, maybe a couple of hours. And then the orange here is uh, longer, again, maybe like four hours or twice as long, something like that. But it depends on the temperature and the humidity. So here's a, a little tip. If it's really hot and humid outside, um, don't use these because they're just going to disappear. They're going to go right off the surface and you're just wasting your money. So in those cases, you're going to want to use the white spray. Uh, or this one here, the, the, the white can, the non-sublimating spray. Now, there is another product from uh, ASUB, and it's this one here. It's, it's their photogrammetry spray, I guess is what I would call it. But it's not really photogrammetry. It's transparent. So it's going to dull the surface, but it's going to be able to keep the uh, color behind it. So if the color is important and you're not worried about having a little bit of white on the surface, then you know this is something to try. I haven't uh, done a video on this one yet, so I will do that in the future. Now, in terms of the quantity that you spray, what you're not trying to do is you're not trying to make the surface completely white. I mean, of course, that would be helpful, um, but really when you have a dark vehicle, you just need to break up the shine a bit. And with a little bit of this, just a little bit of haze, a little bit of white, that's plenty. That usually gives you exactly what you need to get back the surface details. So, um, yeah, you can experiment with this at different, um, you know, with different coatings or different, uh, uh, how can I say this, different uh, levels of coatings. So one that's really light, maybe one medium, one dark, and you can see what you get back. So coatings and sprays definitely going to help. But as many of you know, you don't always have this at your disposal. So, um, they're also not easy to travel with because you have to pack them in your bag and uh, you can't, they're not like carry on or anything like that. Now, if you're driving someplace, you just throw them in the back, no big deal. But you may find yourself in a situation where um, you don't have anything. All you have is your, you know, your Recon 3D app, the phone, and that's it. You know, maybe a selfie stick or whatever. So in those cases, technique is going to make a big difference. And the two things that you're going to do there is one, you're going to spend a bit more time. Okay. So you're going to go over the surfaces a little bit more, um, in a little bit more detail, it's sort of a little bit slower, passing over them, you know, once or twice or a little bit slower is going to help you for sure. And the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to pass the sensor perpendicular to the surfaces. And so in that case, uh, and I'm just going to pick up an example here, if I've got a surface here, I want to make sure that the app, the sensor is perpendicular to the surface. So if it's like this, then I'm going to go like this. If I have a curved surface, okay, something that's curved, I need to pass the phone, okay, perpendicular to all these surfaces, something like that. 
So, you know, when we're talking about vehicles and curved surfaces and things like that, you really need to pay attention to where the sensor is and make sure that you pass it perpendicular to the surface. And what that does is it gives you the greatest return on the LiDAR sensor. Okay, as soon as you have a slightly oblique angle and the LiDAR just goes off and it just doesn't come back because it's really shiny and reflective and absorptive as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the video that I did. Um, I was in Vegas and there was this uh, Formula One car that was really shiny. So uh, I scanned it. Now, I actually scanned it multiple times. I do um, two examples in the video. So I do one kind of like a, a normal pass and then I do one that's a little bit more lengthy in time and I'm more careful about the surfaces. And I did additional scans that I didn't record. But what I'll do is I'll show you the results in Cloud Compare at the very end. So let me in the video and then we'll come back later. Hey everyone, it's Eugene. Uh, I'm in Las Vegas and behind me you can see I got this really shiny car. Uh, this is going to be a really difficult one to scan and that's because it's just super, super shiny. It's black and it's going to give all kinds of problems. So I'm going to try this a couple of different ways and we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what is worse and we're going to see what works out better. But let me show you the car first, take some video and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're gonna fire Bricon 3D, and I'm gonna call this ZA UK, because that's what it is. And I'm gonna go create. Now I'm just gonna use the standard settings, five and five, no big deal. I don't have targets with me right now, I was just walking by. So I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm just gonna do like what I would normally do, maybe on some different cars. And let me go on this side. I'm gonna start from here, so let's give this a go. I'm gonna just do a couple of passes, so starting here, like that, you can see that I'm right, just passing. I kind of have the phone at about a 45 degree angle down, so it's angled down a little bit, like that. Okay, so that's one sort of pass on one side, and obviously I can't get over here, so we're gonna leave that. Now I'm gonna go a little bit higher, so the phone's gonna be a little bit further away from me, but I'm gonna go like that. And maybe something like this. All right. So I'm going to stop there. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to save this one for later. But I'm going to create another one. Now this one, I'm, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on it. And I think time on this one is going to matter. As well as the way that the sensor is positioned to the uh, car here. So I'm going to use the same settings, exact same. And I'm going to do the same thing on the first pass. So let me go ahead and start with that. So first pass, I'm just gonna do kind of low like that, like this. And I can see this is just gonna give me some problems. And there's not much I'm gonna be able to do about some of this. Black shiny uh, surfaces are problematic. Uh, I don't have any sprays with me or anything like that, like the ASUB spray that um, I've used in the past. So I'm good here. All right, now I'm gonna try and get up high. So I'm gonna move this a little bit further away. All right. Cool. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tilt this down so I'm perpendicular to some of these surfaces. So for example, this little wing at the front, I gotta get right above it, like that, like that, okay. And then I'm gonna try and get it above the top, just like that. Okay, so I'm getting perpendicular to these surfaces on the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get perpendicular to some of the side surfaces. Now there's a tire. Let me try and get a little bit more. This, this part right here. Okay, now let me perpendicular down here. Uh, this logo will probably work out just fine, but not the black surfaces. I imagine they're going to be some problems. Let's see if we can get this tire. All right, no problem. Now the side here, the logo will probably come out okay but the black is gonna give me some problems. So I'm gonna just try and be as perpendicular as I can to these surfaces, like this, down here, and I'm gonna do this tire as well. I'm gonna get around the tire like this, all right? I'm gonna get the front of the tire, like that, okay? 
is all black shiny stuff so I can't expect a lot here. You can even look at the depth map as I'm scanning in the top right. You see I get nothing where there's black. Okay, it's just absolutely empty. So let's leave it like this for now. Try to get that side of the tire. Uh, I want to get some of the ground around it like this just to finish it off. Now obviously I spent a lot more time on this and I was really careful about the surfaces that I was covering. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to stop it there. Okay, so I'm going to save that one for later and then we'll come back to this in a bit. Okay, so I've done two scans and I've tried two different techniques. One was just a really basic scanning going around the vehicle. The second one I spent a bit more time, so it was more time. And the important key here was that I moved the sensor so that it was perpendicular to a lot of the black surfaces. Now, I'm not expecting great results on this. This car is really, really shiny. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just reflecting like you wouldn't believe here. Okay, so, um, which is great. It looks beautiful, it looks really cool, but it doesn't make for a good scan. I'm gonna process these, we're gonna have a look at the data afterwards, and we'll see what we get. Okay, we're gonna get right to the point here, and what I've done is I've brought up three scans on my uh, screen. So I've, I've got the very first one that I did, I've got the second one that I did, but I also went back and I did another one, and I tried to get access to some of the areas behind or closer to the wall that you can see here. Um, it's just, it was difficult because obviously it's, you know, there's stanchions, it's blocked off, so I had to really uh, kind of reach and get the uh, the selfie stick over there, and uh, wasn't trying to look too suspicious with the security guards around there. Anyway, uh, let's look at the first one here. So you can see in the original one, I scanned it sort of normally, wasn't paying too close attention to the surfaces, but you can see I've really got a lot of data that's missing here, right? So I got these holes like right here, a lot of missing data. I didn't go over on this side. Um, the ground, right, all around here and the front, like this little the strip and whatever, no problem. It's not shiny, it's not glossy, and it just, you know, it's gonna work out really well. But over here, you can see on the sides, missing data, missing data. It's it's really, really rough, and so this is not exactly what I'm interested in. I want to do better than that. So let's look at the second one. I'm going to bring that one up here. You can see the lighting has changed. There was all kinds of colorful lighting and, and that sort of thing. Now this one has been improved. You can see that on the side here, I've got a lot more data, right? And even on the top, I've got data. I've got data here, right? On the sides here, I've got a bit more. On the back, I've got a bit more. Uh, it's not doing too bad. I picked up these surfaces here that were giving me some problems. Now I was missing data back here. Okay, and that's because it's difficult to reach. Uh, I didn't have like a really, really long selfie stick, so I was doing the best that I could. But you can already see between these two, right, a lot of holes, a lot of gaps, and a lot of improvement here. So you're going to get at least, um, you know, a lot more data just by doing the uh, passes, which are perpendicular to the surfaces, but also spending a bit more time, uh, you know, not moving too quickly or whatever. Now, one of the things you'll notice as well here is the reflection. So you see all these lights and uh, such like that. So it doesn't look like just plain black um, shine, uh, you know, or, or surface. Um, it's picking up a lot of the reflections here. And unfortunately, it's texturing it that way. However, the surface doesn't look too bad. Like it, the, it does look uh, fairly good and you're not getting a lot of noise on these surfaces. So that's not bad. Now, the final one that I did uh, was one where I went back and uh, I just spent a bit more time. And you'll see that I tried to pass over this this part right here. So I did okay. I, I got a little bit better in this particular area. And you can see overall here, right, not too bad on the top, on the front, and, uh, you know, even on the back here. The tires, like where the logo is and things, so they're all pretty well covered. So these are the three, uh, the progression. So this was the original Right, you can see I got some data, uh, but not great. Uh, I've got a lot of missing structure and stuff like that. On the second one here, you can see it looks pretty good. I've gotten the the top over here a little bit better. I've also, you know, gotten the sides not too bad, and but I'm missing this part over here. And then on the third one, you can see that I didn't do too bad. I got a you know, pretty good amount of data. Now you see I should have passed over here a little bit better, but I did go over, and my goal was to try and get fill in this side a little bit, and that's what I was able to do. So that's it on uh, scanning black vehicles. Uh, this was a real challenge, very, very shiny vehicle. But um, I think you can see that with just uh, the technique alone, you can make some really big improvements. And had I had some spray like the A-Sub spray or something similar, I think I could have gotten even better results. So that's another video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.